Here I am again, on the road again, as the song goes. I'm in the beautiful Carolinas. I just finished up in Asheville, and I'm on my way down to Columbia, South Carolina. It's my last stop for this tour. I got about two, two and a half hour drive between here and there, so I'm listening to some NSA podcasts, some things that kind of keep me up and motivated, and going over some things in my mind in terms of what I did well in some of the past seminars, what needs more improvement, and so far I'm getting really a lot of good feedback, and I appreciate that. Helps me become a better trainer. I've had a few suggestions, but mostly it's been very positive feedback, so it lets me know that I'm on the right track. In terms of making sales, eh, probably not so much. I'm not sure how the company is going to feel about that. It's probably a little low. But everybody who is attending my communication seminar, they're getting exactly what they paid for. In fact, they're getting more than they paid for because I've kind of had to beef things up with this one seminar about poor communication habits, uh, interjecting some of my own material from my own seminars. And that's okay, I don't mind it, and the people seem to really appreciate it. I like this. This is just a lot of fun. It really suits my personality. It's something that I'm passionate about. It's something that people grow, and I watch them grow. From time to time, I'll ask, what kind of aha moments have we had in this workshop or seminar so far? And I think a lot of times people don't want to admit that they didn't already know everything, but when you come to a seminar that's entitled, You Have Poor Communication Skills, <laughs> I think you pretty much have to admit that. But there are a lot of light bulbs. I can see the gears turning in people's heads as I talk about the flexibility that we have to offer others in our communication style. To be fair, we have a conversation with someone, we should be willing to meet them halfway, and they should be able to meet us halfway. But our communication partner doesn't understand that. They don't know that they have to be flexible in their communication style, and they have to bend to us at all. So if we want to get our message across, or if we want to understand what they're saying, we have to bend to their communication style. And that's something that I've really keyed in on, and it's not something that's in the curriculum, but I think it's something that really puts a light bulb over people's head and really plants that seed that we have to kind of lead in that flexibility. The bottom line is, are we wanting to win? <laughs> Having a conversation, and it blows my mind that sometimes people want to win in a conversation. That's not why you have a conversation. Or do we want to speak with people more effectively? More effectively. So this one particular seminar, I've really been beefing it up because I've been, I've been ending seminars a little sooner, a lot more quicker than, than the company would want me to. But there's only so much meat on the bones. So after my first seminar on this swing, I, I had to kind of revamp things because we're supposed to go until 4 p.m. I let out at 2.45. And the last couple of times I've been going to about 3.30, which is a whole lot better. And nobody has complained, but I always know there's going to be that one guy. We didn't stay here until 4 o'clock. Am I getting my money's worth? Well, yeah, you are. You're getting your money's worth. In fact, you're getting a lot more, but... Not everybody sees it that way, but that's okay. I don't mind talking, but now I am on the road. That's what I, I don't like is being on the road for two and a half hours. Uh, sometimes it is good to cut out of there a little bit early because I hate driving in the rain, I hate driving in the snow, I hate driving at night, but uh, you know, I'm on my way to Columbia for my very last seminar and uh, We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping I'm supposed to have 17 people. We'll see how many show.
Nope.